Later on, you went to a songwriting thing I saw, and you met uh, Kenny Loggins. Yeah. yeah. I was at school in Santa Barbara uh, for a very short amount of time, and I was in a songwriting class, and the final was to write a song. Uh-huh. And uh, whatever song got picked, it would sing in front of a celebrity guest, which happened to be Kenny Loggins. So mine. So got you had picked. your own little private um, idol thing going there. Yeah. 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 You had your you own know? judge, Kenny in front Loggins. Of an idol. What do you want? That's California yeah. royalty and there music you go. royalty, really. Yeah. So I um, sang, and he said, "Well, I'm not telling you to pack your bag or drop out of school, but I'm telling you to pack your bags." And moved to L.A., which is next logical move, you know, from Santa Barbara. So I called my mom and dad, and I said, I'm leaving. And my dad said, all right, we'll send up the truck. And they came up and took all my stuff, no questions asked. Basically, we're like, finally. So I, I went to L.A. and made my way around there, and there you have it. That seems so <laughs> crazy. My son lives in L.A. He does. And besides the fact that you can't. Go more than a hundred feet in half an this hour. Thinking true it makes me crazy. Crazy. I mean, I I basically threw it all away. Went to Nashville. You know, I mean, I was just playing bars and doing the thing and and whatever. Nashville is so easy to navigate. I mean, you got a few places here. You got yeah, but, songwriters hang out and in clubs, yep. and they're all in a real localized kind of area yep. and whatever. I mean, L. A. is just. How do you, where do you start? How do you navigate that jungle? Oh, man. I mean, I remember dropping off uh, onto Wilshire in Santa Monica off the 405 and just going. Because <sighs> <sighs> Santa Barbara's still very small. And then Morongo Valley is very small. And then even Palm Desert, Palm Springs is very small. You know? Like where you come from. <clears throat> where I come from. And so I just remember seeing those sky rises and I was like. Oh, Lord, help me. I mean, I literally, a tear, tears came down, like, uh, being overwhelmed. So where were you staying? Well, I um, moved in with this girl that I had gone to high school with that I wasn't really friends with, and she needed help with the rent. Uh-huh. So we moved in, and we shared a bed. How'd that go? And, you know, I was gone three months later. <laughs> <laughs> it just, you know, you can't have two girls. It was just a lot. Um, and I just made my shared way. Shared a bed? Yeah. Dude, was she like always pulling the covers off always. and that and kind of stuff? Always, kicking me like you wouldn't believe. This girl you barely know barely and you're know. all up in the bed with her and it's just like, Thank God wow. it was a big bed. Yeah. It was a big bed. And one of those God. big high rises. I was like, and a I big just want to walk rise. up to the door and open it. Like, I don't want to have to go up 15 floors in an elevator.